Hi y'all, it's Regina from Marsh Knitting 101. Welcome in my yarning and crafty friends. Welcome in my new family members and returning family members. Thanks for y'all coming over and checking me out. Um, today is Tuesday, May the 17th, so happy Tuesday. Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful and blessed day. And I am popping on to show you what I've been working on. So what's y'all got in your cups? I've got coffee and my face mojo. Moji, look at his face. He's like, oh, it's Tuesday. What are you guys currently working on? I love to know. Leave me a comment down below. So I know, and leave me a comment down below on what you guys been doing, or how's your day going, or whatever you guys want to leave me down below. I love reading your guys' comments. All right, I'm gonna move on with what I've been working on. This, this is like the 80th time I tried to videotape. <laughs> so. Let's see if I can get one done because it's nice out and I don't want to spend my whole day in video, videotaping, making video to post to enjoy this beautiful weather. It's 65 degrees outside with a light breeze. Every once in a while the curtain blows over here so you might see it blowing in the wind. And I'm going to hang my clothes outside. So hopefully everyone is having a wonderful day and hopefully your weather is cooperating with you. I know out west they were having a lot hot temperatures the double digits so hopefully everyone's staying cool if you know of an elderly please just go check on them and make sure they're okay or even check on people's pets and stuff all right so i think i showed you what i was drinking what are you guys working on i think i said that already but if not leave me a comment down below i'd love to know all right let's see what i've been working on so this is my project that started last night so i was like i want to make a wearable I'm going to make a shirt, not a sweater, like a shirt, nice breezy shirt. Well, I started, I got this pattern from Be Hooked, she's on YouTube, she does left and right tutorials, she knits and she crochets, so she does a wonderful job, and this um, is called the summer, I call it the summer knit, the summer shirt, and this is an extra large, so I feel like that's just going to be way too big for me. I'm a tiny person. I ain't gonna lie. I was a big girl. But this is just one panel. Because you gotta knit two. And it's pretty well basic knit. Knit pearl. But my ribbing. This is the ribbing. And my brain won't let me focus to do knit pearl. Like knit two, pearl two. It takes me a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do. Kind of like how I did Connie. From just another stitches hat. Is to put little markers in every pearl that I do that way I can keep track in my mind I was doing good I started I'm like then I got in the middle and got distracted or was like thinking of other stuff and bam I looked all munched up so yes I will have to frog this but I'm just happy I decided to do it because usually I just keep going I'm like yeah I'm going to notice the, the mess up but it was noticeable and I'm like well now, if I folded that like that, that'd probably be a decent size, but it's stretchy, and I'm just using baby yarn in this white. This is going to be the, the, the ribbing, the hem, the bottom of the shirt, and then I'm going to do it in this pink and white, and it's baby yarn too. It's... Bentley, and it is called Merino Rose Pink Marble. So it's got it has white and pink in it. So I thought do the bottom ribbing, do the shirt this way, then do like maybe the sleeves and then around the collar in the white. I think and it's kind of light. It's 100% acrylic. I know you guys could probably use cotton. I mean, I was digging through my cotton to see about making one with that. But I haven't decided. But I, then I decided that I was just going to do the baby yarn because I have a whole bunch of baby yarn. And I was like, well, just use it up and see what I can make with it. So that is my project I started last night. So I got to frog it out because I really want to make a wearable. And I think it's simple knit pearl and then you just do, you knit two of these. It's not in the round. So, but I think the extra large is going to be a little too big for me. It's really stretchy. So 
I might go with the large just to see. If not, then I know next time to measure. <laughs> but that's that. So hopefully everyone enjoys that. Or if you have any ideas or quick tips to help me with that, I'd love to know. Leave me a comment down below. All right, moving on from that disaster frogliness. I'll get it. Practice and practice, right? All right, but on a happy note, my gnome is almost gnomey done. Almost. I got the body done. So I'm about to cast on the, the screen for the hat. So it shouldn't take me too long to do the hat. Because you're decreasing and not increasing. So there's that. I'm excited. I can't wait to get them done. These are so cute. And he's not tiny. He's a big one. I gotta know him for Mother's Day. He's back there watching me. <laughs> My daughter got it for me. So. But there's that. So hopefully you guys can see that because like I'm on my computer and I feel like when I move I get slow and it like lags but when I post the video it looks fine all right what else all right now my sock I'm probably gonna have to frog it because once again I can't remember where I'm at I wrote it down but I have so much stuff written in my journal that I don't know where it is so I'm going to just rip it out. So at least I'm not too far into it. So, And then for those who haven't seen my sock, I will have to do her. I still just haven't did the I'm weaving in the edges. So here it is. All pretty. I was impressed with this yarn. I was like, yay, it's so pretty. So yeah, there's that. Hopefully you guys can see it. Alright, and there is one sock done. And I just got the pattern from Kay, the crazy sock lady. If you haven't checked her out, check her out if you guys like to knit socks. She does do sweaters and stuff, but she does amazing sock work. She's a very awesome knitter. And on May the 28th, she's starting a thing called Summer Sock Camp, which is awesome. I participated last year, but I was new, so I didn't know what I was doing. So this year I'm excited. I got another nine inch circular, which I'll do. I got another one. I don't have it in here, but I've ordered me another needle so I can at least work on a pair of socks for some sock camp while I'm doing them. So yeah, and then I feel like I need to order a longer one, but I haven't decided that yet. Do you guys hear the birds out there? I think they're happy that the weather is nice. It was raining yesterday. Thunder and then it was cool. I think we got down in the 50s last night. It was chilly. So I showed you my gnome. Oh, and this is this um, shirt that I'm doing is from Be Hooked. She does have a YouTube channel. And if I remember, I will link everybody's links down below, their channels and whatnot. And she does have a pattern. It's called, I just call it the Summer Mint. And it, you can download it or you can just go to our website and it'll pop up. But with this, you knit two of them. So you finish this, then you knit the other. So there's that. I forgot to mention that. All right, and then my shawl. This is the shawl I've been working on. I'm hoping to get it done, like I say every day, or every time I do a video, I need my needles. Because I know it's going to probably take a while to do my daughter's. Um, Christmas present. Oh no, I'm losing stitches. Not coolio. Alright, so this is it. I'm excited. I can't wait to see them. I just love these colors. Like, I'm a pink girl all the way, but since I came into the fiber world, in the yarn world, I'm liking the baby blues, like the blues. Because I think it just pops my eyeballs out. And goes with my hair. <laughs> But this will be awesome. I'm excited to get it. Hurry up and get it done. I think I'm going to start going back to my 30 minutes knitting. Like 30 minutes on my socks, 30 minutes on my gnome, 30 minutes on my shirt, and then my temperature blanket. I'm like kind of behind on that, so I gotta work on that. 
because usually that's my knitting of an evening, but the last couple nights I've been tired because we stayed up after I got off work Sunday. I took a quick 30 minute power nap so I could watch the Illumina clips. That was amazing, but it was really creepy because we watched it in the cemetery because it's the only place that we could find where the trees and the, the street lights and animals wouldn't eat us. <laughs> so, because behind us we couldn't see it in our at our house because we live a hill like a big mountain behind us so we got blocked out but we watched it it was amazing and if anyone else did I like enjoyed that it's fun um so there's that uh, I think that I showed you I haven't got anything else to show that's the only things I've been working on um, I'm waiting on my order from Knit Crate and I still haven't got my monthly box yet. My last one I got in April came at the first the end of April, the first of Mar May, but it was in a bag. And then I'm waiting for my big order so I can start destatching the rest of my yarn to make room for it. And also, if you guys haven't checked out, I am doing two giveaways. One is for from Connie's Just Because collab giveaway, and you have until the 18th to go check that out and participate. I think it's the 18th or the 19th to check them channels out. There's like 32, 30 ish while doing it. So I think it's awesome that we come together and to support each other in any way we can. Um, and then I'm also doing one for Cindy from Pups Crochet, Pups with Crochet her one year pod band anniversary so yeah and if you haven't checked them out go check them out they have awesome work and it's fantastic to join everybody in this i love it meeting new people reading everyone's comments like i said i will comment after the giveaways are done and because i'm afraid it'll mess up with the random comment picker i'm not sure i'm not very good with technology even though i tried to i used to be awesome at it but i just kind of like yeah i don't need it but yeah, alright, I think I'm just rambling on now, so I will let you all go, and until next time, everyone have a wonderful and blessed day, and rock yarn, bye y'all, see you on the news, bye, see you on the YouTubes, or see you somewhere, have a wonderful day, bye bye!